A Luzerne County mother says that she will never give up searching for her 22 year old daughter. Felicia Thomas from the Sweet Valley area disappeared without a trace 17 years ago this week. Her disappearance is just one of the cold cases the Eyewitness News I team is now looking into this week. Lead I team reporter Andy Mahalschik has been working on the Thomas case really since day one. Andy. Well, good evening, Nick and Cass. It is hard to believe 17 years ago this week that Thomas's mother reached out to the I team asking for help to get the word out about her daughter who went missing. She felt from day one that she was a victim of foul play and vows to get to the truth and get justice for her daughter. I keep thinking of what she went through. It had to be so terrible. Pauline Bailey says she lives with that thought each and every day for the past 17 years. Her 22-year-old daughter, Felicia Thomas, went missing on the night of February 11, 2004, after attending a party near her home in Sweet Valley. Bailey says over the years, she has received tips from people who claimed they were at the party that night or knew someone who was there. Everybody in the party heard was a bunch of screaming and um, most everybody in the party just ran. They were all terrified. Bailey and her family have been looking for Thomas and looking for answers ever since. As the years went by, her hopes of her daughter being found alive faded. If she was alive, she would do whatever she had to. She always came home. She always came to us no matter any problems. Bailey, her family and friends have been searching, searching for answers ever since. We've been told by many, many, many people, like I'm talking 50 people have called with tips that said about the party and that they were at this party and that they heard terrible screaming. Those efforts included canine searches of wooded areas in the Sweet Valley area and billboards, candlelight vigils, and even asking the help of a psychic. Anybody, anybody, we, you don't have to give your name or nothing. Just drop us a line and tell us, like, you know, where she is. And we'll go get her and nobody even has to know. Wyatt Thomas was 20 years old when his sister went missing. It's a long time. I just wish she, we could get her home. Um, it, it affects all of us, even the kids that never even met her. My, I have five kids since she's been gone. Uh, our family's big, and she was always family. Do you ever come up one day and say, I, I just can't do it anymore? Yeah, yeah. Every day, but I have to. I have to do it. I have to do it for her. Look what she gave her life. I, I can't stop now. I, you know, if I could prevent somebody else from being murdered by these guys, I, I got to do it. You have an idea who's responsible for this, obviously? Yes, I do. Four men. Now the investigation into Thompson's disappearance has taken so many twists and turns, some would say detours over the past 17 years. The I-Team takes a closer look at that investigation Monday on Eyewitness News at 6. Andy, have state police given any indication or insight about the Thomas case at all? They're keeping us very close to the vest, as they say. They, they will only insist it is not a cold case, and they believe it will be solved. We'll take a close look at that investigation tomorrow. Okay, we look forward to that, Andy. Thank you. Now, the I-Team is going to take a closer look, as Andy mentioned, at some high-profile cold cases from our region. It's all this week on Eyewitness News at 6. If you want some more information, go to pahomepage.com. And if you have a news tip, reach out to the Eyewitness News I-Team. Head to PA Homepage or call our I-Team hotline. It is 570-706-7428.